Welcome to the ARL GIFT series of instructional videos. In this video, we'll explain real-time assessments and how they can be used as part of a PowerPoint course object. First, we recommend being familiar with the topics in the basic GIFT authoring tools and course objects YouTube channel playlist before proceeding. Real-time assessments allow a course author to embed adaptive tutoring and feedback into a PowerPoint course object. Real-time assessments allow an author to create logical, condition-based rules that can influence course flow. For example, a rule can be written to give feedback depending on whether or not a condition is met. Real-time assessments can influence a course by providing just-in-time adaptation within a PowerPoint course object. You'll be able to construct rules, conditions, and strategies to improve adaptation as your learner participates in a PowerPoint presentation. Let's use the Hemorrhage Control course back in the Take a Course page as a case study to explore real-time assessments in depth. We'll first make a copy of the public course so we have right access, then edit it to take a closer look. This course has two PowerPoint course objects, both with real-time assessments already added. Let's take a closer look at the first by clicking on the Edit button in the Real-Time Assessment Configuration menu area. We can see that a real-time assessment has four steps, Scenario Properties, Tasks and Concepts, Instructional Strategies, and finally, State Transitions. In Step 1, you will first add a name and a description to your real-time assessment. Then, you may add one or more high-level goals described in the Options Configuration menu. These options are fully explained in the GIFT documentation. Accepting the default Step 1 values, let's move on to Step 2, Tasks and Concepts. Step 2's elements proceed in a stepwise fashion. Tasks have associated concepts, and each concept has its own conditions. A task has a name, start trigger, and end triggers. Any start trigger that is true will trigger descendant concept and condition evaluations, which can then update the performance assessment of a learner. An end trigger that evaluates to true will stop this particular task concepts, and conditions influence on the learner's performance assessment. Stepping through the hemorrhage control material task, we see that there is a finish PPT concept. Note, real-time assessment concepts are different from course concepts covered in other videos. Associated with this concept are the conditions under which assessments are determined. In this case, the learner receives above expectation in the completion time performance assessment label if the presentation is completed within 10 minutes. Moving to step 3, we now see options for instructional strategies. This is where you specify what the course flow should be under the different conditions. In this case, we can see that a strategy has been set up to display a message to a learner. The first message is advising them not to skip content if the presentation is completed too quickly. Step 4 allows you to define state transitions. State transitions allow you to hook changes in learner states to your defined instructional strategies. In this case, if a learner is overdwelling on this presentation, then strategies associated with presentation duration too slow will be performed. By building and experimenting with your own real-time assessments in a well-formed GIFT course containing PowerPoints, you'll be able to see how rules, conditions, and strategies can improve learning adaptation. Thank you for your interest, and join the conversation at gifttutoring.org.